Reuters has revealed that Facebook's internal emails reveal a very strange change to the hate speech policy. No, it's not being strict regarding it, it's actually allowing it. When it comes to Russia though, yeah? That's the gen, yeah. <laughs> So yes, in some countries Facebook has allowed for violence against Russians and Russian soldiers. It's emphatic that it excludes civilians though. The countries that are included are those that are geographically close to Russia and who the West have control over. For example, you have Armenia, you have Azerbaijan, Estonia, Georgia, Hungary, Latvia, Lithuania, Poland, Romania, Russia, Slovakia and of course Ukraine. And if that's not all, Facebook is also allowing praise for far-right neo-Nazi group Azov. Boy, there are so many hypocrisies, inconsistencies and questions that arise from this. Firstly, seen as Russia's only allowing this for countries that are near Russia, it seems like they're in favour of uh, Europe and the US, does that mean that Facebook is a weapon for the West? Number two, is it befitting of a social media page of selfies and cat videos to get involved in war and politics so explicitly? If so, did we get to vote for Facebook? Do we get a say in it? No. What happened to democracy then? Number three, with regards to promotion of Azov, is it okay to promote extremism and hate groups when they benefit our foreign policy? Number four, when countries are being invaded or interfered in by the US, the public may shout slogans like death to America. And we see politicians and comedians say this is so unnecessary, it's barbaric. Look how backwards it is. But chanting death to America does not create jobs. Now however, death to Putin, death to Russia is allowed and being somewhat encouraged. Number five, if you want the war to end, which I'm sure Mark Zuckerberg and Meta and Facebook clearly want or they've claimed, how is promoting hatred going to help that? Number six, when it comes to pro-Palestinian posts that talk about occupation by the Israelis, that gets removed and censored. But when it comes to uh, Ukraine struggle against Russia, that's being heavily promoted by Facebook. In fact, I saw an advert. Yeah, that's constantly asking me to set up a donation page on my Facebook. What's with the double standards? What's with the hypocrisy? So those are my six questions. What questions do you think it raises? Let me know in the comments section below. And yeah, I do remember a tweet by somebody saying that if you can say that there's an advantage to a war, then we could say that at least we're seeing the true colors and the true faces of these organizations and countries. Let's leave it there guys. Until next time, Assalamu Alaikum.